introduction. So good evening environmental geology. This is your last lecture of the year. I'm sitting here next to a fine piece of art, a lithograph that a student of mine made and the title of this work is Get in the Van and it has a slippery rock van in the Badlands of South Dakota. I think of this as a beautiful metaphor for life but also as a literal invitation. If any of you are inspired by the content of this course and looking for a career path, I'm asking you to come speak with me and perhaps you can become an earth scientist and this will become your laboratory. If you give me a couple weeks and you get in the van for an expedition, I think I'll bring you home a different person. Now I need to bring our semester to a close. It seems like 10 years ago since we were together in January. Really the time warp is unbelievable. So how can I give you just one quick parting message and send you on your way? Well, this story takes me back to when I was an undergraduate student and I was very interested in skiing and the out of doors and I didn't have much money at all. So I got a job in a ski shop and one of my jobs was to mount the binding on skis. And where do you put the binding on the ski? Interestingly, I think the answer to that question is a metaphor for the entire message of environmental geology. You see, if you put the binding too far back on the ski, you cannot control it in a turn and you lose your ability to set the direction, to track it in a straight line and to control the turn. And if you put the binding too far forward, the ski fails to propel you forward and you lose your ability to make forward progress. So you must actually find a balance. And to do this, you take a knife. You don't need to have a knife as big as this meat cleaver, but I'm in my own kitchen, so I'm gonna show it to you. And then what you do is, you find the balance point, the center of mass of the ski. And when you have found the center of the mass of the ski, that is where you put the binding. And when you put the binding there, it balances your ability to move forward and control your turns with the ability to propel yourself and go in a straight line. I think that's a beautiful metaphor for environmental geology. I once met a gentleman and I had a nice conversation with him about ecology and economy. Actually, for most of my life, I've been told that we either can have one or the other. We can have our ecology and our forests and our rivers, but we're going to lose our jobs in the meantime. Or we can have our jobs, but we have to sacrifice the water and the forest. It's been a this or that, a ecology versus economy circumstance. But I don't believe in that. I think that is a lose-lose proposition. And what we really need is ecology and economy. It turns out that both of these words come from the same place. Can you see that they are similar? Of course you can. Where that comes from is this. I used to pronounce this oikos until I had a Greek student in my class named Pablos and he said, no, Dr. B, you're mispronouncing the word. That word is pronounced ecos and it means the home. You see, the Greeks 2,000 years ago knew that we had to mind the garden or starvation was the outcome. And we had to mind the checkbook or bankruptcy is the outcome. And bankruptcy is not sustainable. And starvation and famine is not sustainable. We need the balance of both. And this is the huge challenge before us. And this semester with COVID-19, I think is really pushing it in the extreme of the recognition that we must both tend the garden and mind the checkbook and that it is a delicate balance between balancing the ecological fragility of nature and the economic imperative of people. That challenge, my friends, 
is what I call walking the knife's edge. And when you are on the knife's edge, you don't stomp. You walk tenderly and carefully. And it is this balance between the ecological fragility of nature and the economic imperative of people that we must really do a fine job of rising up to. So I wish you guys well. I would leave you with the Vulcan wish. Live long and prosper. Send me an email. I'm sorry it was a disruptive semester, but here we are and we're finished. Have a great life. Thank you.